Hello guys, welcome back. In this video tutorial, we will learn the switch component from Andesign. We will see how we can render the switch component in different default states like the off state, the on state and then user can change it. Also, we will see how we can add the text inside the switch component and then we will see how we can add the longer text inside the different states of the switch. Also, we will see how we can add different RecGIS components inside the switch component like the icons. Then we will see how we can disable the switch component so that user cannot change it. And at last, we will see how we can add the pending or the loading state for the switch. So let's get started. I have an empty ReactJS project that is using and design and right now it's showing nothing. So let's go ahead and import the switch component from and design and start using it. So it will be switch and if I save it, here you go, it has shown the switch. So by default, it's on the off state. So if we want by default to be in the on state, uh, we can do that using a prop called default checked and setting it its value to true. So if I save it now, so the first one is by default is off and second one is by default on, right? Let's add these inside our space so that uh, there is a little gap between these. So the gap value, maybe we can say 12 and the direction we can say it's vertical. If I save it, here you go. And we can write the text inside uh, these button as well, like the on state and the off state. So let's try that. If I copy this one, and we can say the check children here we can write any text or any direct component so let's try both of these so first try the text we can say on and in the unchecked children we can say off if i save it here you go the on and off and this text can be longer as well so let's try one that option copy it and we can say longer text for on and here we can say longer text for off save it here you go longer text for on longer text for off and instead of the, this text we can uh, return any red components any icon something like that so let's try for one icon again from the and design so here we can say we can say maybe check outlined and here we can say maybe close outlined these are again from the and design icons right save it and if i refresh here you go check close right and while i'm changing its state from on and off we can capture that as well inside the on change prop and it will be given giving us whether the switch is checked or not so let's console that we can say switch is checked and we can print its value whether it's true or false so if i inspect and go to the console and if i check it is a switch is checked true and false true it's again false right and if we want to disable the the switch that user cannot change it we can do that as well for that the prop is disabled and we can set it it's value to true or false if we want to it to be changeable or not so if i refresh so by default it is it's checked so it will be checked but user cannot change it right and if you want by default it to be not checked if i save it and refresh so by default it's off and user cannot change it right and if suppose we are fetching it straight from the server or anything and we can show a loading indicator on that so for that we can do something like uh, we can say loading and set set its value to true or false based on whether we uh, whatever we are doing 
there you go so loading state in case of at the off and the same loading state in case of on right so that's it on exploring the switch component from my design but still if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below and if you have learned something in this video please hit a like subscribe to my channel see you in the next video thank you